primary health care plan will make the NHIS better because it will pay for primary care, preventive and promotive health. Let me clarify once again that a Ghanaian will not need a national health insurance card to benefit from free primary health care. Ladies and gentlemen, this means, unlike the NHIS, you do not have to pay a premium to benefit from free primary health care. My national communication officer says I should repeat. I will. Ladies and gentlemen, the free primary health care plan will make the NHIS better because it will pay for primary care, preventive and promotive health. Let me clarify once again that a Ghanaian will not need a national health insurance card to benefit from pre free primary health care. Ladies and gentlemen, this means, unlike the NHIS, you do not have to pay premium to benefit from free primary health care. We believe this will strengthen the ailing financial health of the NHIS and afford the scheme an opportunity to pay debts owed service providers. After all, expert opinion and research is replete on this suggest health insurance is insufficient to ensure universal health coverage. You need other interventions. So free primary health care will exist. You don't have to pay premium. You will assess health care free at the district hospital, polyclinic, health centers, chips, compounds. Health insurance will take care when you are referred to the regional hospital and the tertiary eye centers like Kolebu Teaching Hospital. In Ghana so far, the national health insurance does not even cover 40% of the population. That is the fact. That is the reality. The national health insurance does not even cover 40% of the population notwithstanding all the efforts that various governments have exerted. The facts. Between 2017 and 2019, the NHIS recorded an increase of 0.8% in coverage over the three-year period, 0.8% cumulative. What does this mean? If you contrast this with the estimated 6.6% increase in the population of Ghana over the same period, growth rate of about 2.2 for our population, 2.2, NHIS doing 0.8% means that you are way below even catching up, taking care of new people who are being added on. And I'm not, I'm talking about the people who really even need it the most. And so this is the verdict. If you contrast this with the estimated 6.6% .6 increase in the population of Ghana over the same period, 2017 to 2019, you will understand why the MPP's promise in this election to use the NHIS to achieve sustainable development goal three, held for all Ghanaians within the next nine years cannot be trusted and must be rejected by the electorate. In three years, cumulative increase 0.8%. Cumulative estimated Population increase, 6.6 percent. How can you catch up? They do not have a credible plan for health for all Ghanaians. We do. 
vote John Mahama and NDC for free primary health care.